Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review of the Marvel Legends series Twin Pack Deadpool and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And as you can see, this is the Twin Pack Marvel Legends new way of uh, presenting the figures and the new boxing as you see. And these are MCU figures, which I love MCU figures. You see Deadpool, Negasonic, side of the box, you see the back of the box, let's put this back a little bit, well, you can see it good, looking good, looking good, Marvel, Hasbro, side of the box, cool, unless you see, there they go, ages 14 and up. So let's get these two MCU figures out of package to see how they look. And these are dope. These are dope. I'm going to spin the wheel so you can see Negasonic, Teenage Warhead. I just want to get the overall look of both figures before we go in detail. But man Marvel Legends are killing the MCU figures man I mean dang I am really liking both of these Deadpool looks like Ryan Reynolds is riding a suit really looks good really looks good I'll take a closer look I like the scales. Of course, they made Negasonic a little bit smaller. As she is in the movie. So cute. Yeah, man. These are dope. So, let's take a closer look at Deadpool. And as you can see, all that texture... Man, what a job. And I do have some accessories on. Of course, as you can see. But yeah, let's just take a closer look at Deadpool, man. That is so good. I mean, he has texture all through his suit. You got the flat black. Just dope figure, man. I like the boots. Wow, the straps and the gun. Now, I've seen some reviews where they heat this up to pull them guns out, but Deadpool will pull a gun out his ass, man. I'm, I'm cool with them not being able to remove the guns here, and so it's no big deal to me. But wow, this is dope, man. The sheath, his swords. With the sheath is stationary, which I do like that, so it won't be moving around while you're posing. But yes, man. And, okay. So let's take a look at Negasonic, Teenage Warhead. And they killed it, man. Look at this, man. This thing is gorgeous. Just gorgeous, man. The hair, I love her hair. Yeah, so Marvel Legends is doing a hell of a job on the MCU figures, man. I don't know how they're finally doing their sculpts, but great job, man. The hair is just amazing. Let's just go ahead and pull these accessories off. And I and we did find this on a toy hunt. On our last toy hunt, we found this. As you all seen with us <laughs> got a little excited about that didn't expect to come up on that but yes let's see yeah so Negasonic is nice man nice so I guess 
we can look at Negasonic first. Okay. And let's go over Negasonic's accessories, which she has her fire accessories. As you can see. Make sure we get that clear for you. Which looks good. She has two of those for her wrists. And she also comes with a fist hands. Two fist hands. And that will be it for Negasonic. As you can see. Nice paint. Nice detail on them. And that is it for the accessories for Negasonic. So let's take a closer look at her articulation. Which the head is on a hinge. I love when they put a hinge on the figures, man. Why didn't they do Deadpool like that? I mean, gosh, look at that. The, the hinge. Yes, it can be sort of, you know, unsightly, but... It's all about that range where you can get that pose. And she still has choo -choo 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 tilt for the expression. Okay. And she has an upper torso movement. You can go back that much, I believe. And not much forward. I can't believe that. Matter of fact, none forward. None forward. Okay, she has shoulder hinge, can go up that much. Uh, she has, she doesn't have a bicep swivel, but she have a elbow swivel, a single elbow joint. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, single elbow joint. She has a hinge wrist. Okay, swivel that. Uh, no waist movement with the upper torso can swivel too. Okay, and a little bit of side to side, real little bit of side to side. Okay, and the legs can go out about that much. Okay, and she can kick up this much. Okay, and can she go back? No, not really. Okay, she have an upper thigh cut swivel. She got double joint knees. Okay. And she has a shin cut swivel. And she has a hinge foot. Okay, go back a whole lot, go up good, and of course the swivel. So, typical Marvel Legends, so not bad. So yeah, Negasonic is really nice, it's all about the scope and looks. The movie accuracy of it, I like the earrings. That looks good. She really looks good, man. Really looks good. So, so Nagasani is very nice. Very nice. Let's see, gonna get her to stand. Okay. Now we're going to bring Deadpool in here. And wow. This is the one I would really want to get the double pack for. Because of Deadpool. To have an MCU Marvel Legends Deadpool. Since they have been knocking it out. The Wolverine and the Venom. Just amazing. But yes, this one is the one I wanted. Okay. So we'll take the fist out. I mean, sorry, the guns to go over his articulation, which is very good. So, and I did 
do some custom work to get better movement in the head area his neck and head area okay of course the dremel all right here we go we can look up that much he can look down that much okay and he has swivel i mean tilt for expression uh the shoulder hinges can go up that much all right i think that's about it let's see yeah okay he also have butterfly joints which work good as you can see and to get more range just bring it at hinge to face this way and get crazy range with the butterfly joint so yeah yeah so he also has a a true bicep swivel and he has double joint double joint elbows which is good okay he has the a hinge upper torso it's not the one like venom have okay the lower waist can swivel okay so the legs and this is a floating piece right here okay it just floats his strap okay the legs can go out that much okay come up that much okay can it go back any a little bit so he has an upper thigh swivel okay he has double jointed knees can be very good okay and he has a hinge foot go back good up good and of course the rocker nice ankle rocker okay um so yeah very nice man the detail on this thing all that texture in the suit is very nice very nice and also a hinge wrist okay I believe let's see yeah hinge wrist that swivels okay so yeah Deadpool has you know nice articulation and plus you get the look of the MCU I love the MCU figures. I love MCU figures. This is a dope Wolverine. And I did it again. Same thing I did at the toy hunt. Wolverine. Why do I want to keep calling Deadpool Wolverine? But yeah, Deadpool. Said a thousand times. But yes, Deadpool is sweet, man. And. I sort of went over his articulation before the accessories, but we can go ahead and go over the accessories now, which he comes with a loose knife. I'm going to get that poop back here, standing, looking good. Okay. He comes with two other pistols or guns. So you're going to get that clear. Okay, so two more of those, and the ones in on this side uh, cannot be removed unless you forcefully remove it. And I heard people doing it with heat, but it breaks the trigger uh, part of the gun. But so, like I said, Deadpool is loaded with weapons, so even though he got guns in his side, he just pulled these out of his ass and started going to town. 
but yes the little knife in great detail let's sort of zoom in on that oh you can see that see can you see this good yeah okay and he comes with two I believe two fist hands I can get these little things okay all right and he comes with two sword holding hands and he comes with two sort of open hands okay and he comes with his stuff pony hmm <laughs> That's sweet. That's pretty cool. So yeah, nice accessories for Deadpool. And which I did paint my hands black, cause I sort of like the black instead of the silver. Uh, they said they had some black and had some silver, so I did paint mine black. I think I like the black look better. But yes, but overall, Deadpool really looks good, man very happy with this figure very happy with this figure and the swords which I had in the back yeah, so let's look at the swords okay and there's that looking good nice detail grip and these are flimsy okay so just be careful yeah so nice nice and they just go in the sheath like this oh, make sure I get these right there's one and two so Deadpool is ready Articulation is great on this guy. I mean, he can reach back, grabbing his swords. So it's very dope, man. Like I said, Marvel Legends is just killing the MCU figures, man. You see the Deadpool belt buckle looks good. All that texture, man. Wow, man. I, this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, so let's stand it, pull back here. So yes, I am loving both of these figures and I do wanna get a height of Nigga Sonic first. She stands about almost five and three quarters. Deadpool stands about a tad over six inches. So yeah, um, these are very nice, man. Very nice. And we're gonna get ready for some size comparisons. And this is how they stand with the MCU Marvel Legend Wolverine. And also the Mezco Wolverine. As you see, Negasign is shorter than all of them. She's even shorter than the Mezco. So I think Wolverine. <laughs> this is Wolverine. This is Deadpool. Wolverine is a little bit taller than Deadpool, okay? And this is Deadpool and Negasonic beside a NECA Fusion Predator. And the McFarlane Grim Knight Batman. Oh, that figure is so dope. And here they are beside the Bandai Darth Maul and the Mythic Legion's Vampire Knight. As you can see, you know, Vampire Knight is taller than taller than uh, Warhead and Bandai. Darth Maul is taller than Deadpool. Okay. 
And here they are with the 10th anniversary Marvel Legends Hulk and She-Hulk. And they are considerably bigger. <laughs> She-Hulk is a beast, man. A beast. Let's get a closer looking on that. That really looks good. And here he is with the gang verse Outback Hulk and a Mark SH Fig Arts Mark 85 Iron Man. So yes, my final thoughts on these two guys is they're awesome. Marvel Legends is killing the MCUs. And as you can see, I did a lot of size comparisons, so I hope you get an idea of how they scale with other lines, which they're dope. That's my final thoughts. They're dope. I mean, they killed the scope. Articulation is great. So, yeah, I'm glad I found these on a toy hunt. Okay, so this will be the conclusion of the war, Teenage Warhead and Deadpool, not Wolverine, Deadpool. So if you guys got any questions or requests, hit me up in them comments. You can hit me up on Instagram, and I will be sure to get back with you. All right. All right, everyone. It's Custom Comments signing out. Peace.